Okay, four player minigame. At the chomp wash. Working at the chomp wash, yeah. Okay. Scrub all the paint off of the chain chomp. The faster you scrub, the sooner you'll get the paint off, so. This is another game where you can just go wild with the Wiimote and, like, easily win. Aw, oh, he's such a dirty chomp. But yeah, I'm, like, just spamming the Wemo right now, and I'm easily winning. Haha, ha, my chomp's all clean, and you guys' arms. And hooray, the dirty number of coins! Toad is so dirty right now. Okay, what do I want to use? Um, I guess I'll use Bolo Candy. I love the animation for the Bolo Candy because they're just like giant bowling balls with the characters' faces. Ah, oh, dang it! I missed again! I'm not making very good use of some of these candies. At least I'm getting a lot of coins in the process. And Birdo just missed the star. Oh, she didn't have enough coins anyway. Yeah, Birdo's kind of just like failing right now. No stars and barely any coins either. I'd say right now Yoshi's my biggest rival, because even though Waluigi has more stars, Yoshi's doing better in the coin department. Okay, sick and twisted. Jump from one spinning platform to the next, and a race to the finish. Watch out for bullet bills, they tend to fly in just when you need to jump. Well, ain't that stupid. Any yeah, other controls are just the standard sideways controller. This is kind of the modern version of Platform Peril. And I wish the players would stop making me jump on their heads. I don't remember though, is it the first one to the goal or is it whoever makes it to the goal? I'm guessing the, the first one, so... Ah, oh, dang it! I kind of fell right through that little crack right there. And Yoshi actually almost failed right there, too. But nope, it looks like Yoshi's the winner. Actually, I'm tempted to say that it's not just the first person. I think it's everyone who makes it. Because the the screen kept scrolling after Yoshi made it. So, like, if there were other players there, it would give them a chance to make it too, so... I'm not completely sure. Anyway, just to be mean, I'm gonna go ahead and use the blow away candy too. I'm also doing this just in case I can get the candy star. And once again, I think I actually missed Yoshi. I did, and landed another red space. I'll definitely get the red star with the red stars in play. I need to get in front of Yoshi, though. Uh, 
Uh, once again, though, Birdo, you're going to lose more coins. Yep. Birdo's down to zero coins and zero stars again. Birdo's just having a terrible time here. Although, I think Birdo's in the lead for the Happening Star. And that's actually a smart move for Yoshi. Why, yes, it was. Because he just got the star. He can actually get another one, too. So, yeah, Yoshi is my biggest competition right now. Here's the hoping he doesn't sell his soul like he did in Madame Morio's Pirate Dream playthrough. Okay, another minigame. One versus three. What am I going to be doing this time? Picture perfect. That's kind of cool, though. There's a picture imperfect and a picture perfect. I believe there's also a pixel perfect, too, so they've used the perfect reference several times. Okay, use the pointer to move the cursor, press A and B to turn the panel rotation on or off, and stop the turning panels to match the target image. You'll have 20 seconds for each round. So, yeah. I'm not really sure what this is harder for, the team or the one player. The one player has less to rotate, but, you know, the team has, you know, more people working on it at once. Okay, mushroom. Okay, I got that. This won't be too bad. Okay, flower. Dang it! Okay, what do we got? Cheap, cheap. Oh, dang it! Dang it! I thought I had the... Ugh. I had the red shell. Okay, flower again. Okay, I'm still in this. I'm still in this. Okay, we have Cheap Cheap again. Dang it! Okay, that was... That was the game's fault right there, because I didn't get any of the Cheap Cheap panels. Oh well. I gave it my all. Can't blame myself for trying. And wow, it's been almost an hour, and I'm not even, like, I'm barely over halfway done, so. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said that Mario Party 8 was very, very slow-paced. And... Uh... Dang it, I don't know. The thing is, Yoshi's, like, right in front of the star again. But if I go this way, I can actually get another candy, so... I'm confused. I'll go ahead and try it. Whatever. Ah, dang it. Oh, well, thankfully I landed right there. I could have gotten a much worse location. So yeah, I guess I could find some things to talk about while I'm doing this, because obviously this is going to take a while. 
Um, first off, um, I guess I'll start talking about games I've been playing recently. Um, not really very many new games. I, uh, got Pokemon Black, and I fully beat the game already by this point. And, you know, I've already given my impressions of it in my blog. I mean, I think it's a great game. And I think a lot of people are actually giving it a lot more negative criticism than it deserves, but I mean, I can see where their criticism comes from, because I mean, it's still pretty much the same, like, Pokemon formula we've seen for years now. They haven't really changed that much. Uh, one of the few things I like about the game is, first of, like, many people have said this already, but I thought the story was fantastic. I, I love the way they did the story. It, get, it got kind of predictable at the end, in my opinion, at the very, very end. But I'm not going to get into how. Because I'm, su I'm sure there's some people out there who haven't finished playing the game yet. Another thing I liked about the game is I liked how they didn't give you any of the earlier Pokemon until you finished the game. That way you were kind of forced to use the new Pokemon. And a lot of people didn't like that, but I personally did. Okay, let's see. Work with your teammate to paint more Goombas your team color than your rivals. It's not over until it's over. Keep on shooting, paint until the bitter end. Okay, so yeah, I just hold the controller sideways and then press 2 to shoot and uh, directional pad to move. But yeah, I, I do like the new Pokemon game. Um, I don't know, I still have like heavy bias for the first two generations. But for what it was, I thought they did a great job with it in Generation 5. I'm not really going to discuss my team or anything, because, eh, I don't really want to. Besides, in my playthrough, I kind of switched between Pokemon a lot anyway, so I never really had a concrete team or anything. In other gaming new... <sighs> Dang it, we lost! We, like, barely lost, too. Um, in other gaming news, uh, obviously the uh, Nintendo 3DS came out. I did not buy the system at launch, and I probably won't buy it for a few more weeks. I don't know, I just don't really see the point in going out and making a major purchase just yet. I mean, I, I definitely have the money to buy it. I definitely have the money, but... I, I just really don't want to buy it right now. But from what I've seen, it looks really, really awesome. I mean, it really does look awesome. I just don't know if I want to purchase it just yet. I, I am going to purchase it eventually. And I'll buy... Dang it, all these candies suck. Um, I'll go ahead and buy, I guess, Bolo. I know. No, I'll get Bolo. That way I actually get the coins. But yeah, I am definitely going to get the 3DS. It does look cool. I'm just not going to get it yet. Other gaming news? Not really that much to discuss. Aside from, you know, just the 3DS. At least in my opinion. I'm sure there's a lot of other gaming stuff going on, going on right now that I don't know about. But... Eh, whatever. But yeah, basically lately I've been... Uh, submerged in the world of Generation 5 Pokemon. That's the last, like, three weeks of I also got Mario Sports Mix, but I honestly haven't played much of that. From what I have played, it's a pretty cool game. But, you know, I wouldn't say it's, like, the best game ever or anything. And, like the majority of the people out there, my favorite sport is dodgeball and Mario Sports Mix. I don't know, there's just something fun about hitting Princess Peach with a dodgeball. Just my opinion. Okay, um... 
I have actually been getting a lot of questions about this. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about what exactly is going on with Hudson Soft. Uh, Hudson Soft is the uh, developer that actually creates Mario Party and the Bomberman franchise. Um, two series I have done for my channel. So, I mean, obviously people think I'm like some kind of Hudson F expert, but as far as I know, I don't really know that much about what's actually going on there. Um, I did some research, like, a few months ago, and basically the only thing I really found was that Hudson was bought by another company. I think it was Konami. It was either Konami or Capcom. I I'll look it up in a second. But, um, basically they were bought by another company, and, um... They closed the U.S. branch of the company down, so there's only like you know Hudson Soft in Japan, and I guess you know the European PAL version of the company. But there is no American branch anymore, which is kind of weird. I hope that doesn't mean anything negative to Mario Party or Bomberman, but it's too soon to tell. They haven't really mentioned anything about that yet. Okay, so here we have Saucer Swarm. Shoot more of the incoming invaders than your rivals. An invader will stun you for a few seconds if it hits your base. Keep pivoting and to survey the whole field. Now you just pivot by, you know, tilting the Wii remote and then press the two button to shoot. This game is actually pretty cool. But yeah, um, I did want to mention that in this video because a lot of people have been asking me about this and since you know, this is a Hudson Soft game. I guess it seemed appropriate to uh, mention that here. It's also kind of ironic that my next project, like the project I'm starting tomorrow, is Super Bomberman 3, another Hudson Soft game. So it's like, I'm starting two Hudson games, like, the day after one another. And I missed a gold saucer, unfortunately. But I, I think I should still be able to win this. Or maybe not. Okay, no, I won. Never mind. That was pretty close, though. <laughs> I love how the other team just gets sucked up like that. They get the tractor beam. Abducted, that's what I was trying to say. They got abducted. They got abducted because they're big losers. Okay, is there anyone in front of me? Wait, what, what, what candies do I have? Okay, Duolo, which allows you to duel other players, and the Bolo candy. Um, is there anybody, like, right in front of me? Okay, it doesn't look like it, so... If I roll enough here on this dice roll, I should get the star. I think that was just enough for once. Alright, perfect. Okay, I'm back in the lead. Okay, next star is over there, which I believe Yoshi's gonna get that. He's pretty close to that area. I really wish someone would land on that lucky space, though. I wish it were me, but, I mean, obviously, it's not gonna be that easy. As long as I show one lucky space in this playthrough, in, in the whole playthrough, not just this board, then I'll be satisfied, because I actually like the idea of the Lucky Space. I just wish you didn't have the slow go candy, so you didn't have to, like, have an easy way of getting to it. That would have made that a lot more fair. Oh, and Yoshi actually went the wrong way, so... He's not even that close to the star. Aw, oh, dang it! Well, so much for that, he's gonna get the star right now. Yeah, 
Dang it, Yoshi, you suck. Well, maybe the Star Wolf here closer to where I am, then. Oh, wow, I did. That's like right where the start is, and that's like right where I am, too. I got very, very lucky with that. 